Easy. Good afternoon, peeps. Holy moly, did you miss me? <laughs> I miss being here. Holy crap, I have been one busy guy. All right, yeah, let me pour a beer and I'll tell you something about it. I missed my homebrew Wednesday. I missed uh, the Tuesday. I didn't have a manic Monday, but it's been a wild couple of days lately. All right, so I got this IPA, the one that I brewed my nerd self, and uh, I don't know the credentials. You have to go back and look at it if you have interest. And um, all right, let's get a pour on it, and I will tell you a little bit about what's been going on. This is not a cold glass this time, or mug as it goes, but uh, it is indeed a mug. All right, so we're gonna pour that baby out. Oh my goodness, that looks wonderful already. A little faster than I should have. Oop, darn, I missed the camera shot. Anyway, doesn't that look good? That is all climbing at the top, even. Holy mackerel. Okay, uh, whew, man. Okay, so it's been pretty difficult lately. Pardon the dirty fingernails, and they are dirty. Actually, I've been playing out in the garden, but uh, they've been dirty the last couple of days. So a couple of days ago, in the evening time, the well, our water well, started acting up and getting crazy, and then, uh, well, it wouldn't keep pressure at all, and, uh, Oh man, can y'all see the bubbles in there? Yeah, you can, huh? All right, it's my IPA. Look at the head, it's holding it like, like, <laughs> like it's concrete, huh? All right, so cheers. I'm, uh, yeah, happy belated homebrew Wednesday. Call it what you will. I'm back. Uh, I have been busy. Let me get a little sip and I'll tell you what's going on. Did I say a little sip? I mean, chug that sucker. <laughs> what would Boondock say, right? All right, uh, let me get this poured up, and uh, I will take you on the tripod, and we'll go for the walk. Look at the head on that. I'm gonna brew that IPA again soon. I'm getting low on beer. Uh, last week, I guess I'd said, oh yeah, well, I got plenty of this, plenty of that. Well, I have some company over, and you know how that can be, and you're sharing your stuff, and uh, that looks looks the part. Got a bunch of bubbles. I don't know if y'all can see it. Anyway, you can trust me on that one. Yeah, let's go for a walk. Told you what I've been doing with my uh, the last little bits of beer. I've been putting them out there for the slugs and the snails. And oh my goodness, I don't feel bad when I instead of like cutting them in half or like putting them in soap or whatever. I don't have to touch them anymore. I just pour them a little beverage and, and they go in and well, they get uh, a, a, a little uh, overdone, a little uh, uh, how they put it overserved as it be. Okay. Let me get you out of the tripod. I'm going to take a little walk and uh, tell you what's going on. So, I don't think we've been this far up into the property yet. Um, uh, this is a little shot of my house and down the driveway and the garden is like over there. Because y'all kind of know my area that, I, that I've been shooting these videos in. That's Trevor Town across the way, my kid. Alright, so we're, we're up at Dad's house and this is like... Uh, that's a uh, propane tank. I'm sure y'all have seen one. I'm not <laughs> teaching y'all anything. And he's got a uh, standby generator that, that uses that propane. Okay, so this this is his meter and service, uh, his electrical service. And uh, okay, once upon a time, not just but a couple of days ago, there was a wire that went from here way back to the well. Now what happened is I think it's gophers. I don't know. Anyway, the wire was compromised, and so we had to run. Another conduit, that little one there on the right that looks kind of bent and actually looks better than... It, it needs to be filled in a little better, but anyway, it's kind of transitioned off in there. So it's 270 feet from here on down to the well house. You see the trench, and the well house is the silver building on the left. Now, so uh, again, the wire was compromised. Now they just had the pool put in, and I don't know if maybe that wire was compromised at that point or not. But, uh, so we had some troubles with it. I will catch up with you here in a second. Okay, doing all this wonderful trenching from, like, like you seen that long path that I was just uh, down that, that, that white fence. Okay, well, I hit this pipe and didn't realize it. So, uh, we had to doctor that pipe up. They had, like, a schematics, not really schematics, but a layout of the way the plumbing went, and it wasn't near like that. Anyway, so I uh, hit that pipe and now we've got that fixed and we're going to leave it open just to make sure it's not, uh, it's not going to leak and uh, I'll catch up with you here in just a second. Okay, now we're approaching the well house. It sounds like 
there's two motors that work down here. And if you don't know, I'll give you a little crash course on how a well works, or at least this kind of well. That pump right there that you see spinning is an air compressor. That air compressor feeds water, it feeds air into this, this pipe here. Now, out of it and out and around, so it forces air down, and, and what the air does is it, it makes the, the water come up. Now, uh, 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 give me a second. Part of the camera angles. Uh. This is our holding tank. This thing holds the water that comes out of the well. The thing is, I don't know how deep it is. Anyway, it forces the air down through the copper tubing and water comes out. I water. Now, there's a little white float thing down there. You can see it, hopefully you can hear me over the noise. When it gets in the upright position, it will stop the compressor. It's called a float valve. So we have it adjusted right, it does the right thing. Boy, I wish I could feel this water, it hits cold. I, I, I was going to bring down a thermometer and I didn't. This water is directly out of the ground. I'm talking about it, it's got to be every bit of 65, 70 degrees, our temperature. I don't know what it is in yours, but it's cold water. And boy, it's fresh, straight out of the ground. Straight out of the ground. Now, I didn't make it do this. Just coincidentally, it was doing this when I got here. So this is a 500 gallon tank. Again, I don't know how it relates to your measurements there. Uh, it's set to where at about 400, uh, 400 gallons, it turns off. So uh, anyway, let me, uh, let me just go on and uh, I'll show you what this thing does. So this thing here, if it's in the upright position, it shuts off the pump. It shuts off the compressor. There's still some air in the system, so it's going to keep doing that. I don't have anything to tie it up with. So I was going to kind of give you a rundown of what's going on. All right, uh, I'll just let it work and I'll, and I'll come back when it's done. So, so I'm going to set it back in there and about the time it turns over, it's going to turn that pump back on, I bet. Uh, okay, maybe it's not going to, maybe it's not going to sink. Okay, that's all good. Okay, so that's all good. Grab my space. Oh, damn root down there. So anyway, uh, we had some wiring issues, got the wires fixed, and then realized, you know, th this we've had some issues, some troubles with, uh, with the pressure being bad. So th this one pump here, like I show you here, uh, this one here, is just simply an air compressor. The air forces the uh, the air compressor forces air down the well and makes the water come up to go to the storage tank, and then. It comes out of the storage tank, obviously, this little pipe down here. Now you see they uh, uh, they had to do some transitioning and stuff. I've got some heat tape that, that we use during the winter time. I have to cover that back up because later that's not in their scope of work. And this was our old uh, this was our old pressure pump. So on the right hand side is an impeller. It's a pump, you know. On the right hand side there, uh, just underneath the pipe, is a uh, an impeller and it's a pump and a motor. I mean, it's, it's, come on, it's a water pump. Nothing special. So anyway, Dad says, well, it hasn't been working well. Let's have them come out, and, and we want to get rid of that because it's been here for a long time, and Dad's had a couple of pools. And so they came out and installed a fresh new pump. Look at that blue baby. Now, that little blue piece there, right there in the center of the screen, is a check valve so that the water can't go the opposite direction. It only can go toward the pump and, 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 and uh, not back. Now, you can see how humid it is here. Hopefully the camera's getting the angle. If you can see the, the condensation on that, that's how cold that water is in that tank and how hot it is here. They've set it to where it runs at about 60 PSI, so uh, uh, it's in the off position now, and it, there it goes kicking out. Hey, how coincidental, I didn't do that. So it's gonna run until it gets to 60 PSI. It pushes, it forces the water into this tank. Inside this tank is a bladder, like a like a balloon, and so it keeps positive pressure on the water. So, uh, uh, if you didn't have this, the pump would run all the time. This thing holds some water with pressure on it. This this is the pressure tank. Well, maybe I'm teaching y'all something you already know. Whatever, I'm telling you. So, the water comes in there, goes to the pressure tank, and there's a T down there, which allows it to go to the outbound, which is this right here, and comes back around, as you see, the little water filter there, and then it goes out and down, and onto the houses, both of them. Uh, so I had to run another, uh, uh, some more electricity. We already had this in here, I put that in there, and I, 
uh, maybe last year I think it was, so it's a disconnect, so if you had to work on it, you can shut it off. And that goes over this J box and it does that anyway. So the so dad replaced this pump yesterday and, and uh, uh, that was like $700 for them to install that thing, but it's got a warranty. And that is not my handiwork that you see with those wire nuts taped up. I don't roll that way, you know? Anyway, so it should be getting to about the 60 percent. Damn it! 60 psi, or well, it doesn't have it metric anyway. So it gets to 60 psi, and so we have great water pressure now. The other impeller, I think, was worn out, and and so we just weren't we weren't getting the pressure like we should have. So with all that being said, that's what I've been doing lately, and I'm so sorry to have. Uh, not not been chiming in i have been super busy it was a couple of days ago that this whole thing started and yesterday that, that dad ran into the trench early in the morning and that we did this it's 270 feet and i'll try to remember to put that in metric as to the distance because uh, the thing is the power pole is over there okay see past the pool i don't usually use this thing Okay, so the power pole is over there. So we came around the the the, the uh, uh, fence there and and and, uh, and over here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep an eye on that power pole, and I'm going to show you the angle. Now, remember, he just got that new pool. We had a pool before, but he he had it upgraded. Okay. So now, <laughs> I don't know so much. Okay. Uh, Oh, I'm not helping. That's not helping a bit, is it? Anyway, between here... Okay, watch the camera. Power pole. I'll cut this out of it. It's just totally crap. All right, see, see the tree on this side of the uh, pool? And then you see the tree on the other side? And that little pipe between them? That's the power pole. Now, I'm out of the well, obviously. Uh, I think they might have damaged that wire when they were reinstalling the pool. Don't know. It's all fixed now, so it's not such a big deal. But I'm thinking that because probably the pool, I'm guessing anyway, because we, we, we didn't we weren't the first uh, first ones here. I'm guessing that there was power from that power pole to the water uh, well before that pool was here. <laughs> you know, and I don't know how deep it is exactly. We like I said, we just kind of abandoned the wire and 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 uh, redid it ourselves. Let me go back wider. All right. And so uh, I'm thinking they probably compromised the wire when they put the pool back in. But 270 feet later, and uh, here we are. We got we got uh, all the uh, a fresh new pump and, and brand new wire because they were kind of doing things a little shady anyway. I won't get into electrical theory and shit, but uh, I mean the stuff. But they were doing stuff a little shady and. Uh, so I'll, I'll get this cleaned up a little bit because it's not, believe me, it, was, it all was uh, covered in a nice black wrap and stuff. It doesn't freeze here often, but all this is so exposed and it does freeze sometimes enough to freeze up these things. You can see there's a fan there. That's because the old one, the old pump, was uh, was really tired. They have thermal shut off, so they shut off by themselves, but it would shut off a lot because I think it was just worn out. The impellers, the little fins in there, I think weren't, weren't touching the edges like they should have anyway. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess let me take a little sip of my beer and I will spin you back around and I'll chime out. I've actually got some pieces. These pieces back there, see that great thing? Like right down there? That's like a, that's like a, ooh, that's a red wasp. <laughs> anyway, th that's, that's a, uh, uh, th that's a, a fan, and it uses that big ductwork. So eventually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna <laughs> put that thing in here, like uh, maybe not using all that ductwork, but uh, it's quiet too, that thing. So, but we're gonna, we're gonna port it out, uh, 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 get, get an exhaust fan to be able to help keep this, this building cooler, because hey man, I get, it's, it's a tin building, it gets uh, 100 degrees a lot of times, and it'll be almost 150 inside. So Dad put a little solar solar fan thing up there. I don't know if you can see it, I'm trying to, just guessing here, but you can see how well that's working. First of all, it's, it's not so good. Second of all, it's covered in a bunch of pine needles, so uh, I have a thermostat kind of thing that will uh, uh, 
that will activate this. Um, so we'll probably end up with that working in there. All right, let me spin you back around and give you an adios. Holy crap, it's been 10 minutes already. All right, and uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, why I hadn't, usually we just said we've been busy, but I'm trying to show you what I've been doing. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I've been pretty darn busy lately, just trying to get water back to the houses, and uh, you don't realize how much you miss water until it's gone. Uh, the thing is, with, with what I just explained, is one moves the water to the to this tank thing here, right? And then the other one actually pressurizes it, so we actually had water in there, so we were able to just come down and get fresh water out of this out of this reservoir, and and and, and so we had water, you know, we had water. This is my brown water. Oh my God, see what I'm saying? Anyway, that, that's uh, uh, so we were able to come get water, but we we had to come get it because it wasn't pressurized enough to make it to the houses. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, if you live in the city, uh, uh, you have the chlorine. If you live in the country, you have things that you have to deal with like this. Um, yeah, some people they, they do something even smarter. On top of that wellhead, they will uh, uh, now see if, if you had a bigger well, the actual wells. Right there. Okay, I'm pointing the wrong direction. Anyway, what people do is they will. Now it's getting into kind of the homesteading side of it. They they get a, a, a bigger ca a well casing anyway, and so what they'll do is they'll put another pipe down there and have like a solar powered battery op or whatever, 24, 12 volt, whatever kind you want to get. And, and so they they use uh, solar panels to charge batteries, and, and and then with the batteries or even without batteries, I guess said to be sunny but they pump the water out of the ground also in that same well head because that's that's called a well head that thing that's what that's the whole everything there okay in that same well head a lot of times they would have the old pump the old like a cowboy pump so no matter what uh sunshine or not you know no matter what you can get water out of the ground you know all right guys um uh, yeah um, that's my homebrew wednesday <laughs> not really but uh yeah we're gonna call it that <laughs> uh thanks for coming by Th uh y'all be sure to like comment and subscribe and wow i'm already up to 12 minutes on this on this little segment so we're probably up to about 20. Whee! <laughs> thanks for coming by uh do all the stuff you know to do and i will see you next time thanks again uh adios Peace, love, and funky vibes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>